<laughs> Them little girls for sure. That daddy daughter love is different. For sure. And so we gonna, we gonna get right into this. How did you get started in the shoe game? In the shoe game. I always loved shoes all my life. I'm going I'm to I'm start there. You know, thanks to my mom. She made sure that we had Shout all the same. Shout out to mom. I made sure we had all the same. My dad didn't really care. Yeah. He was like, why the hell are you buying them, them Jordans and all stuff? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, moms used to be like, hey, y'all clean up, do right. I got y'all. You know, y'all yeah. going to have a new J. So that's, that's where that kind of started. And then. Um, just doing it for so long. I remember in high school, um, people used to be like, "Man, that's that outfit slick." And I used to be like, "It's for sale," you know. <laughs> after <day> for sale. <laughs> everything for sale. After I'm done tonight, I you know hit me tomorrow. You can have a whole fit. Yeah. <laughs> so that was like my resale thing, but that wasn't like online because that wasn't really like popping like that back then. Yeah. Or, like online, it was a uh, Facebook. But was it Facebook or was it MySpace? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It really, <laughs> it was Facebook. But like, I feel like Facebook was like a college student thing at the time. Like yeah, we was, was young, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> so you had MySpace, you had the packs and all that type of stuff. <laughs> but um, yeah. Um, so coming up more when things became like a real life resale market, that's kind of more when I got into like real life just strictly buying them to sell yeah you know i always anything i had you know it's always for sale for the right price so i never really brought nothing to just strictly sell it till probably around like 2013 so that's kind of like when i got into it okay so how long you been in business i've been in business I've been selling shoes since 2013. Um, business, I had a store on 46 in Burla called Preneurs. Yep. It wasn't my store. It was my cousin's store. But basically, I was in there. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I had me a little space in there. And then it went to the point I was, I was kind of doing good in there. And... I ended up, we ended up getting the other side of the store, you know, so it was two storefronts, but we ended up buying the second storefront that was next door, too, and that's when things got a little bit bigger, and that was probably around 2018, and then 2019, I started re -Rock. Okay. Now, that was one of the questions. Where the name come from? re -Rock. So, Rerock, I remember um, being real depressed in things because I had the store on Burla. Me and my cousin had a mishap, and I basically went my own way. Yeah. You know what I mean? So That happened I, in business. That happened in they business. They say family and business don't ever go together. It really, I mean, sometimes it don't. <laughs> you know? But really, I just want to be able to control my own business. Yeah. I don't really want partners in business. I really want to have a full control, and okay. I don't want to be blaming nobody for nothing. I want to, you know, I don't want to be able to be like, oh, somebody put me in this spot. Yeah, I yeah. want to always do that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I know I'm going to pick it up, pick up the slack myself. Yeah. I don't know if everybody else is going to pick up the slack when things, you know, go down or something. But Re-Rock, like I said, I was uh, depressed because – I left the store on Burla. I went from posting all this stuff on Facebook nonstop, nonstop, to getting a store to not having to post. Yeah. And getting comfortable with, oh, pull up, I'm open, you know. And when I left the store, I didn't want to post. My dad passed away, and I broke my foot all in like a month. Oh. Yeah, that'll put you in the slump. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'll put you in the slump. <laughs> so, I was real stressed, you know, depressed. And, um, because I'm stuck, I can't make no money because my foot broke. I'm really in the house just chilling. Yeah. I, j I just left this store with all this merchandise that I had. You know what I mean? 
I wasn't really selling selling the stuff because I didn't want to get on Facebook because I ain't want nobody to be like, oh man, sorry about your dad or yeah, I see you got a broke foot or why you ain't in the store over there no more. I ain't really want to deal with none of it. Yeah, so I'm just sitting back chilling, thinking about my next move, and that's when I came up with the I need to be a brand. You know, because I feel like it's it stands. You know, it's better when you a brand because. If you a brand, I can say, like, yeah, I've been a brand since 2019, and it's 2023. Yeah. I got a little time on me. Yeah. You got a little time behind you. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> this this been established since then. Not just, you know, I've been doing this since then, but I got a brand that's been established since then. So, um, with that with that being said, I was being depressed, watching Nipsey, and I'm seeing uh, the marathon continues. The marathon continues. <laughs> You know what I mean? I'm like, damn, you know, he been standing on this for a minute. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just was studying it. And I even seen, like, when he even got his Puma deal, even the Puma stuff still had the Marathon Continue on it. Yeah. I'm like, I got to be a big brand like that. Shit, I think only Nip and, uh, damn, I can't think of Jay-Z guy. Um, you talking about, um, Damn, it's one of them. I think it's the one that did all the Fed time too. It is. Yeah, he, he got some low top pumas with like his face on the back. He got the whole. He gave all them the deal, so Jay Z hooked him up with the deal. So everybody who getting deals go through dude. Oh, okay. I, I'm, I'm trying to think of his name. I got a jogging suit with his name on it. I think it's E something. I can't think. It's gonna pop in my head. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's gonna, it's, pop it's in gonna my come head. up. Yeah. It's gonna come up. <laughs> Emery. Yep. Emery. Yep. That's his name. Emery. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, he put him on with that. So I'm looking like, man, I got to be a brand. So shout out to my boy Omar. You know, shout out to my brothers at Deadstock, man. That's another shoe store here in Milwaukee. Okay, I got to get them next. Deadstock, I'm looking for y'all. <laughs> so anyway, my boy Omar gave me the name. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm telling him all this. You know, like I need a brand like a, you know, that can go longevity. And I don't just want it to be related to shoes. You know what I mean? When you think of re-rock shoes probably pop in your head because of me, but that when you weren't really thinking of shoes with yeah. that. You might have thought of other things. You know what I <laughs> <Yeah>. mean? <laughs> you might have thought of other things. But that's, you know, that's a cold way with it too. And I'm talking to my guy. He like, man, do re-rock. I'm like, re-rock? Man, that sounds so slick. I'm like, bro, you like, man, yeah, these some re-rock jeans. These some, this some re-rock hoodie. Yeah. I'm just thinking about the longevity. I got, I'm going everywhere with it in my head. And I'm like, okay, bam, that's hard. And um, I looked it up, and somebody had the name. It was, it, it was my boy who told me to do it. He had the name, so he already been thinking about it. Yeah. He like, just do it. Then somebody in Arizona had the name. So <laughs> that's what's crazy. Somebody in Houston got social junkie. See? But they just spelled a junkie all the way out. See? So it's the spelling. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so I said, let me change the spelling. Yeah. <laughs> it was R E R O C K. I'm like, no. Nah. Let me play with it. And then I put the R E R O C C. Only thing popped up was Pee Wee Longway. Yeah. Hit it with the water, make it re rock. Make it re rock. I want to rock right now. I said, oh, yeah, that's how I'm spelling mine right here. You know what I mean? Then after I found the spelling, I'm like, I need an acronym. It got to stand for something. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It got to stand for something. I came up with it. I'm like, recycling everyone's rare objects, cash or consignment. That's a re rock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One more time. One more time. It's recycling everyone's rare objects, cash or consignment. Yeah. You snap it. How long it take you to put them words all together? Man, it's, it all hit me at once. Yeah. But I ain't going to say it went all fast, but it hit me at once, and I just kept going. Like, this is what I want to do with the business. I want to bring out this. I want land keychains, and you know what I mean? I want to do, you know what I mean? I want to put this everywhere. So... 
I mean, I knew it instantly. It all hit me. And I just sat back, you know, for a couple months before I put it out there. Okay. Then you were still dealing with pops and foot and yeah, all that. Yeah. yeah. So you really had time to sit back. I had time to sit back. Yeah. Besides pop, uh, pops passing and my condolences. For sure, man. It might have been a hidden blessing. Yeah, I mean. Like it, sit down somewhere. Yes. Yeah, you broke your foot. Broke it's time for you to sit down and focus. Man. It didn't even know my foot was broke. I walked on my foot for 30 days. I walked into the. Uh, you remember how you broke it? Playing basketball. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why I was like, come on, man. But I was just really trying to play basketball to be healthy. You know yeah. what I mean? But um, I walked in the hospital and they like, yeah, if you walked in, your foot not broke. I'm like, all right. They come back, take x rays. They're like, yeah, your foot broke. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> like uh, some rogue about shit. Yeah, I, like, like I, I had to know. come up in here. <laughs> like, no, you wouldn't be walking on it like that. I'm like, I don't know. So, yeah. where the location at now? So, I still have the location on Jefferson. All right, before we it, go to the next location, yeah, a lot of people want to know yeah. how the fuck you get a spot downtown. Ooh, that was crazy. <laughs> spot That's prime downtown. location. Spot downtown. So, first off, it's COVID. Yeah. It's COVID. So, spot vacant. It was freshly, you know, just in use. But a lot of business ain't lasting. The hustlers only last in COVID. Yeah. <laughs> really? But, no, I mean, I ain't going to discredit everybody who, who really lost their bid or anything. But, you know, a lot of hustlers did profit off COVID for sure. Yeah. But I'm going uh, to say it for you. You wasn't wrong with what you just said. Yeah. The true hustlers going to figure it out. Yeah. The people that made a way and then some get in the way and it fall apart, mm -hmm. they ain't no real hustlers. They just they just got lucky. They got for lucky sure. along the way. For sure. <laughs> so we went there. I'm like, ain't no way they finna give me this spot. You know what I mean? I'm looking at totally different other spot. Yeah. That I definitely wouldn't put my story in now. <laughs> that I was looking at back then that I was finna settle with. And I went down there and um it used to be a coffee shop. Cause it's right next to what is that, Taylor's? Yeah. So Taylor's is on the corner. Yeah. It's really next door to Sophie's. I know it was something else yeah. right there before them stairs. Yeah. So yeah. no, yeah, them them stairs is Sophie's, them under the it's like a little hidden bar under. Yeah. That's Sophie's. Then uh, you got a lure. Yep. Shout out to a lure. Shout out to a lure. The brothers. Only <laughs> <and the brothers. laughs> thing I got to say, man, y'all got to get some air. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <But> <laughs> nice spot. Lovely For drive. Sure. Get some air. And then, <laughs> and then you got Taylor's on the corner. Taylor's on the corner. So yeah. it's already a popping block. And then across the street, you got Belmont Sports Club, Room 7. Room 7, yep. The block do what it do. Yeah. So, <laughs> I go in there, and it used to be a coffee shop, right? And dude, like, y'all finna sell sneakers? You know, too many sneaker stores wasn't open. All the people I think was open was Powerhouse, Trusted Kicks, and Dead Stock. But dude ain't know about none of them. The, okay. the owner ain't know about none of them. He like, y'all finna sell sneakers? I'm like, yeah, he like, what type of sneakers? I'm like, nice sneakers. He like, okay. And y'all think people gonna buy them? During COVID? Yeah. I'm like, listen. If you do the math, I probably sell about 10 sneakers a day for $250. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I sell that. I said, that's about 2500 How many coffees do they got to sell a day to make 2500 Yeah. They ain't Starbucks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they was not I Starbucks. I said, how many coffees do they got to sell a day to make 2500 Yeah. <laughs> he looked at me and was like, you right. Thought about it. Contacted us again. He was thinking about it. I said, you know what? I got something for him. Tell him I'll give him the whole year of rent up front. They during told him that. He said, when you want the keys? Yeah, during COVID? Yeah. During COVID. He, he needed that little money too. Yeah, he like you know what I'm. He as bad made as you two, needed two your spot, quick, he needed sure. that money <laughs> for sure. And at this time, I know I know my landlord probably needed it because he sold the building now, and somebody else owned it now. Yeah, and this I ain't been there that long, you know. 
Yeah, you caught with that one. So where the second one at? So the second one is on Fifth and National. That ain't the block where Jinx is it? Yep. So it hex is hex, right yeah. directly <laughs> next door. Okay. Directly next door. Because when you walked out the door, I'm like, hold on, that don't look like the <laughs> shop I'm thinking about. <laughs> no, yeah. So how long you been at that spot? We had um, that spot. I had it for longer than it's been open. Okay. So I had it for a minute, but we just opened up this year. You know what I mean? But I had it. All of last year. So you keep it both spots? Yes, that's what I'm... So the plan is to have it separated as... One is like a discounted store. Okay. Okay. Check the relation I did with this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know, you got sax. Yeah. And then you got sax on fifth. Yeah. You got re-rock. And then you got re-rock, re-rock. on fifth. We all talk to that one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You said so, that you said that how's your brain working? <laughs> so Re Rock on Fifth is gonna be the discounted store. It's way bigger than the downtown store. Um, it's probably four times as bigger, and it got a big basement, okay. and um, it got a patio. You know what I mean? And um, I'm gonna downtown to just be exclusive. You know what I mean? Just brand new heat. Cause it, that fire in there, yeah. Just me looking that fire in there. I want brand new heat in there. <laughs> so fifth is where the uh, I don't know if I, I, I I'm saying it the right way. The shoe market, that's where you're doing the shoe market at. So we gonna be doing a shoe market on August 27. Make sure y'all pull up August 27. We got the shoe market going on at Zocalo. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. It's like Z O C A, whatever. It's like right there on the corner. Yeah, yeah. I know what you talk about. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And there's a lot of food trucks in there and yep. stuff. Yeah, and they got the big bar in the middle. It's gonna be, it's gonna be lit though. Okay. It's gonna be lit. I got a Mr. DJ, Mr. New York. He gonna have it turned up in there too. Oh, he be down. He, he everywhere downtown. Yeah. I see him on everybody. Hey, Mr. New York. Yeah, yeah. I see him. He on be everybody having it fly. turned too. <laughs> Then uh, do you have a limit on tables and who all welcome? So we're gonna do forty tables, and um, I'm calling it the sneaker market, but I really want to just call it the market, you know? Yeah. Cause like I said, you know, I don't want to limit myself. You know what I mean? Cause like I told you off camera, somebody hit me mm-hmm. and said it's only shoes. I'm like, shit, I don't know. I'm an axie. No, nah, you got you got anything you do. Come on with it. Okay. Anything you want to promote. And you want to buy a table, 60 bucks. The entry going to be free. We're going to bring the people. Yeah. Yeah, we got to get that out there. Mm-hmm. We're going we gonna to keep pushing that. Mm-hmm. So but the, the, fifth, the store is like one block from, I mean, like a half a block from, from it. Yeah. But they got them little streets over there. Yeah. We, they asked still, us if we wanted to block the street off for this one, but we not going to do it. Ask. But maybe like, we, we still got that street yeah, blocked. Maybe maybe the next event we probably going to do that. But they do got the street blocked, but they was going to block off the other street too. It's another little piece of street that separate uh, like the store from right there. So I, I want to bring that up too because like if you buy anything and you feel like you overwhelmed with shopping, I'm going to have a table there. You could just leave it there. And um, you could pick it up the next day at the store or something like that. So oh, say you oh, buy yeah. a bunch of shoes or something, you don't feel like walking around with them and yeah. you want to keep shopping, I'm going to have it where you can just leave it there. You know what I'm I mean? Pu- I'm pulling up early and parking. I'm getting a close parking spot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. So with all the shoes, when you think back to when you first started, about how much was your startup cost? Startup. Um, honest truth. I think I have probably about like 60K in inventory. Then, like I said, I had to pay the rent up front for the whole year. Yeah. And we had to put like a $20,000 deposit down for that. Then we had to do some rehabbing in there. Oh, y'all spent the bag over there. Rehabbing is probably <laughs> like probably like five more. Like five more. So that's probably like what I started with. And I'm not necessarily going to say... You got to pay a year up front. I ain't going to necessarily say you got to have 60 grand in 
inventory up front. You yeah. know what I mean? I just watched the little guy, EJ. My man's EJ. <laughs> Yeah. I just met EJ not too long ago. Probably about three months ago or so. Probably four months ago. That's little buddy in the yeah in the video. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um <laughs> EJ is a hustler. Yeah. <laughs> he he is man, he was born to do this for sure. He's a little hustler, but I didn't watch him put some paper. He probably sold probably like today he probably sold like eight eight pair of shoes. Oh, okay. You know that's good for a thirteen a year old. Thirteen year old, because he he ain't really got no uh, lack of better description free time. Yeah, because his parents probably want to know where you going, what you finna do. You got to be back in the house before the street lights come mm-hmm. on. <laughs> so he got a couple of hours to bust his move. Yeah, and this is a couple of hours. I don't even. I'm like I be telling him come in from twelve to four. You know, still yeah. have your summer, EJ. You good? Yeah. So yeah, he show up every day. No, nah, I tell him don't don't come on Saturday. No, I'm saying when you t- tell yeah, him to show up, sure. he show up. Oh, he gonna be on time, prompt, and everything. <laughs> if mom's running late, he pissed. Yeah, he called. Hey, I'm finna pull up. He pissed. <laughs> <laughs> so so how's business going with both spots? Business is smooth. So right now Jefferson not open though. Okay. Yeah. Oh, let me let me go back to Jefferson. I'm glad you brought that up. I seen a picture. Okay. Did somebody break in? No, no. When you see that? No, it's like a picture where you standing on the sidewalk. It's some cats sitting on the stairs, and it looked like it's a glass window on the ground or some shit. I wonder. It just looked like you I probably ain't paying attention when see. y'all took the picture. <laughs> I hope it ain't. Um, only thing I can think of, unless it's, you know, Hex got shot up. Like, they shot Hex 30 times, shot out all the windows, and we was there. Little EJ was there for that, too. Oh, man. This is at 11.30 a.m. Let me pick this up. Well, uh, you can see a little bit of it right here. Oh, yeah. All I got to do is swipe over. No, no. That's just some. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that is. That's just an old rug. That's an old old rug. Oh, that is a rug. Yeah. I thought that was a window. Oh, that that's is a rug. That's a rug you know? <laughs> yeah, I but don't be surprised because you know we come there. People, there's so many clubs on that block. Yeah, it'd be broken glass. We're surrounded by clubs. Right on both of them. Both, both of them. So fifth. So I just told you all the clubs on Jefferson are on Fifth. Now I see you get Hex next door, got the Laughing Tap across the street. Then you got Walkers down the street. Then you got um, it's another club on that corner. I forgot forgot the name of that one, man. Uh, That's like a bar though, really. It's like a bar too, though. But it's a club too, though. Oh, it's they Latino. going in there now? Yeah, it's Latino. Latino. It's, yeah, um, yeah. It's still a club. Snifters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right on the Snifters, corner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you kind of answered this earlier, but you got any partners or anything? Right now, I don't. I yeah. mean, yeah, like, not right now. You ain't wrong. I ain't, I, I ain't got no partners right now either. I got some co-hosts. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just, wrong. what you said. But you got to you gotta have a team. You got to have a team. You got to have, but a partner and a team is different. It's two different things. I was explaining that to somebody else. A partner in the team is two different things. Yeah. You really just need everybody to play their role. Play their role. And, and and the way we grew up and where we from, you play your role right. It ain't like we're going to play you and forget about you. No, come on. You here for the whole ride. Only way you get off this train is if you do something. What's up? <laughs> yeah, What's just up? you do something. Because we can really go where we need to go. Yeah. If we all do, do what we need to do. Oh. That's what wrong with Milwaukee. We would, I didn't, this has came up in a couple of interviews. If everybody supported, spent the black dollar in the black community, all of us would be good. For sure. Everybody be up. Everybody be good. But that dollar gets spent so fast. That dollar gets spent so fast. <laughs> and the crazy thing is, it gets spent so fast because me, us knowing, it's black men and black business owners. They gonna spend it fast and not ask for nothing. But when they spend it with you, 
it's it's tough, tough, yeah. tough to get it out of them. Yeah, they yeah. like, man, <laughs> you got to be able to do better. If you got it, you got it. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, damn. <laughs> it's rough. Oh, be like, damn, you get all the shoes. Like, yeah, you pay all the prices. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't get them for retail. I don't even know the last time I ever got a shoe for retail. So it's hard to, like. That was my next question. How do, how do you find the shoes? Me. Um, really, we just let people come in the store right now. Like, you know, people just come bring us shoes, you know, mostly like that. I don't really too much like go out looking for the shoes, but you know, I really, you know, used to hunt shoes when I was like, came up and it's yeah. like in the, in the, you know, like I watch, I like, I watch like how EJ do, you know what I mean? Like, in the early stages, like, if you really was looking for some shoes, like, you make posts and, and find it for them people that you know. You know what I mean? Because I feel like when you try to go out to find shoes, that's when you get, you know, when you try to go out to find anything, it ain't it don't go right. It don't ever go right. <laughs> <laughs> let it come to let you. Let it come down the shows to say that. You got to let it come to you. <laughs> let it come to you. <laughs> that's that show what you got to do because you said you don't go find them. So you'll do the shoe fairs. Or I mean, I do, I, do the yeah, I do the sneaker cons. I do the sneaker cons, yeah. yeah. But everybody can't do the sneaker con. Man, I seen some shoes on there, boy, today. I was like. It's serious, man. Like I got, he just paid what for those? Those was one eighty when they came out. <laughs> that's what. I, see, yeah, everybody think that's how they they that's how the black come spend their dollars with me. Like, man, them only cost one eighty when they come out. Why you charging this and why you charging that? But that's crazy because I ever thought that way when I first got back into the game. I remember with the gammas. And I called my guy, and I'm like, oh, I see you got the gammas, man. It's like 2013 or something. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm like, ooh, bro, I need them. He's like, yeah, man, they like 400 I'm like, hell no, nah, they cost $200, bro. Why, yeah. why would you try to charge me something like that? He's like, bro, that's, that's what they going for. That's what from. they going for. <laughs> I'm like, man, say no more. Next thing you know, the black, black and green ones. The snake skin low 11s dropped. They were like black and green with a green snake skin. And I called him. He said the same thing. I said, he said, man, you come with me next time. And I started going with him. And then you got to see the prices. Got the, I got the shoe. And when I got the shoe, it was the Concord low 11s. And then I got the shoe. And uh, bro was like, man, I got somebody who buy it for 300 right now. I'm like, man, I just paid 150 for this. Really, I just caught a little Visa gift card for that was 150 on it, and I only paid 75 dollars for it. So I really only paid like 80 bucks for yeah, the for shoes. The shoe. I'm like 300 <laughs> right now. He's like, yeah. I'm like, fuck it, I will sell them. Yeah. So <laughs> hell yeah. I'm like, I'm that's on this. <laughs> I'm on this. Yeah. And that's because when I started reselling. That's different because I was buying, like, you know, I was buying people's shoes. Okay. Like, <coughs> I buy my nigga Jig shoes. I buy Jig shoes. I remember when I even first asked him to, <laughs> to buy shoes. To buy, you know. And they like, you want to buy these old things? I'm like, hey, like, I'm like, what you going to charge? He's like, 50 I'm like, man, never. He's like, you know, yeah. I'm like, man, got to grab K back. He's like, man, he's 80 now. <laughs> <laughs> what up the price yeah, I know you He was like, man, 100. <laughs> I was like, all right, man, next thing you know, man, he was okay. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was okay. That nigga was showing me everything. Like, yeah, they up in the, this is that. I was like, damn, you know, he's like, yeah. That nigga was like, oh, I'm getting this hype shit down. Yeah. <laughs> nigga was like, man, I feel you. Nigga still rock designer, but nigga was like, man, I want this hype shit. You yeah. know, I'm like, bro, this should be holding better value. This, you know, what I'm saying this. this. He's like, yeah, because you know, it's like the exclusive market with shoes too. Like it's 
Like you said, you looked at, I wonder what shoes you sent. And you was like, man. I'm trying to, dang. And I tried to screenshot them, but I was doing so much. But it's, it get crazy. Yeah, I'm trying to. It's gonna pop in my head. I be thinking yeah. of so much shit. It's gonna pop in my head because yeah. I with the with the shoes, right? Like how you said you paid one fifty. Now, not not back then. Say you grab a shoe now mm -hmm. for one fifty. How do you determine the market value? Like when you see a shoe and you be like, "You only want one fifty for them? I can get this for that." Uh, nowadays, StockX. Everything okay. is determined off StockX nowadays. Back then. Like when I said when I was grabbing bro shit, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, whoa, the, the 2012 breads, uh, honey, but what? Bread, like, look at <laughs> I want 350. You know what I mean? Like, that was a different market them days, man. That so was do you go with the StockX number or you try to So StockX basically is the real boss. Everybody look at StockX for anything. Let them lie and tell you, like, oh, StockX still fakes or anything. Whatever. Yeah. That's the boss of all bosses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's plenty of sneaker stores. So everybody going to look at StockX. They're going to look at the lowest, lowest ax. I mean, you know, it's basically how much you could buy now for. Then you got the bids and what you could sell it right now for. Yeah. So... If you got this shoe brand new, you could send it right here and accept this amount of money right now, this second. You know what I mean? So, nine times out of ten, a person going to look at that and reflect that off of how much they would pay. Okay. And that's based off what it's going for, what did it last sell for, and how much you can sell it for right now, this second, without doing no work. Where you just send it in to StockX and it's so you could just accept this bid. That made the game crazy. Oh, because what I was watching today, they was doing that. They was they was uh, going to StockX. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, that's all they gonna look at. StockX or go. StockX go. StockX go. Of course, they both that's so fakes because it's, it's so treacherous. Yeah, the fakes is treacherous. And then eBay trying to do the. Uh Verified or whatever. But the fuck. E eBay the OGs. Yeah. <laughs> they the OGs. Like, the they should have been verifying and they'd have been on. Yeah. <laughs> so they, they still got stuff you could buy that's fake off eBay. If they don't say authentic guaranteed, you know, then you shouldn't buy it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't buy it. It did uh when you first started, what was your biggest challenge? I guess it would. It would revert back to making sure that, the, you know, the shoes is real. Okay. Because, man, it's treacherous. I didn't take some losses. <laughs> For real. And people, I don't even know if people be liking to admit that or not. Like, But they better, better know. You ain't going to even know it's fake unless you done got caught with the fakes. You ain't going to even know. It did that answer might have ans answered the next question. Well, what you wish everybody understood about the shoe game? What do I wish everybody understood? Yeah, that you can't get some fake shit and take some losses. I mean, no, I, I wish everybody understood that this is not easy. That yeah. if you ain't a hustler, don't just think you could just jump in it. Because oh. everybody be thinking they could just do, you know. Whatever. What you want to do? Light or blue? It's on you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I said that everybody don't admit that they get caught with fakes, though. Everybody don't like to admit that. I know plenty of people would be like, oh, yeah, I ain't never brought no fakes or I ain't never did that. Like, no. Nah. I didn't, you know, nowadays it's apps that you can just check. To see if the shoe real or fake or not. So you know. what what you what you typing in? The serial number or something? No, you like send how can you, you send them pictures. Oh, okay. It's called like the check check app or the legit check app. Like you send them pictures of the shoes and they tell you if they real or fake. And they take different time limits. So the people I be seeing on uh 
on social media that be taking the shoe out, flipping it around, looking. Mm. Is that shit real? Like, it's really people that can go through all that and tell if the shit real or fake? Man, there's only one person I know in the city who I do that to. And that's my man's drugs. Other than that, I don't just... Because I'll be like, how the fuck y'all be looking at that shoe, flipping around, looking at the inside, they be smelling the shoe and shit? No, you got to smell it. <laughs> they be like, oh, no. It's made with a different glue. Oh, okay. You will smell it. You will be like... You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that do smell like some nail polish or something, you know what I mean? It's different, man. What's what what shoes you like, man? Like what's I'm a uh, Air Max nineties. I might be saying it wrong. Takati, Takayu, whatever. Sakai? Yeah. Fire. Uh Vapor Max. I lo- I, 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 honestly, I like anything. I don't think of the weakest shoe. What's the weakest shoe now you can think of? Like, I just bought some Fila. I bought them because they were I don't, I don't just feel like anything the weakest. It's whatever you feel. Yeah. If, to me, if it stand out, that's why I, I, That's why I'm asking you. It's, 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 yeah. it's whatever, you, you, whatever <laughs> you feel. But you brought up Air Max, and that's my favorite, bro. Yeah. I wear. I got plenty of Air Max 90s. That's my shoe. 90s. Bro, Air Max is. It, and people will tell you right now. I got. I got. I got some. Um, I got some shoes that's just sitting glasses in my house. Right. All three of them Air Max, bro. That's that's. No, I wore all. Of them. I wear. I wear my kicks, man. I'm. I'm. Let me see. Now that I. I got, I got a lot of Air Max 90s because that's my favorite shoe. Vapor Max, I done bought a couple of them lately. She they grabbed comfortable. a couple for me. Yeah, the Vapor Max comfortable. They comfortable. Uh, New Balance. The Felines I was just talking about. I'm going to show you before you leave. Okay. I'm on the internet looking for something. I don't know what the fuck I'm looking for. New Balance is taking over, too. I got New Balance, too. I got some New Balance. <laughs> But new you gotta think of I was I was wearing New Balance back then when a lot of people in niggas was wearing Sacconis. Yeah, I was wearing New Balance. They was wearing Sacconis. I, I, I fucking <laughs> both up. That's what I, bro. I wore everything. I, I just bro. seen some Sacconis online that I like. But these Felines, I'm looking for something, and these Felines just popped up, and they was at Walmart for sixty dollars. I'm like, this can't be real. And I no. literally bought the shoe just because I didn't believe it. I'm like, this shoe can't look like this, and it's not coming from Walmart. But when I bought it, it said third-party Third, seller. I was just finna say it. And they, they like StockX. Yeah, when they came, <laughs> how many times I done rocked them shoes? I done rocked them shoes about three, four times. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to show up to you before we leave. Nah. I, was like, I told my sister that when I wore them, I was proud. I was like, I bought these from Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> but they, yeah. they third, they, they getting in on it. Yeah. That's how you know the shoe game's serious. I shouldn't even drink yet. Let's toast to uh, re rock. That's to, to, to social junkie, social too, junkie man. Too. <laughs> My boy, man. But yeah, Air Max, Air Max 90s, really. Air Max 90s, yeah. Vapor Max, New Balance. Uh, I say Sakai. What did you just say? Sakai's. Sakai's. Sakai is fire. I'm gonna show you these one Sakai's I got Sakai upstairs. Is fire you might too. be able to sell them from. I've never worn them. Man, I can. They just like this. They all white, off white, in the, well, the, the shoe strings is uh, like velvet. <laughs> <laughs> so I never yeah. wore them. I still have not worn them you shoes. Could to this day. I could definitely sell them. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't worn them too to this day. I could definitely sell them, man. And then uh, we love sneakers, man. The sneakers always been part of us, man. Yeah. Oh man, that's. <sighs> You had to have some fresh kicks to come outside. You can you can have anything else. You can have anything in the world. Sneakers, niggas Sneak. kept them shoes right. Yeah, <laughs> hey. we love we love the kicks, man, for sure. It's it's just a conversation piece sometimes too. Yeah, like you where you get mean? them from? Yeah, how did you know about the ones with the that I just described though? Because, bro, I know, bro, I'm really like. Twenty thousand hours in, when they be like, you gotta be ten thousand. All I said in was they was good. off white, and you knew I the know shoe exactly string. what shoe. And it come with extra laces if you want to switch it to the. And other I one. still got the laces. Yeah, yep. 
<laughs> I know it's like, bro, I can tell you. Uh, yeah, and I still got the laces. Yeah, I yeah, really yeah. love shoes. Bro. So, in the industry, what do you wish people in the industry would stop doing? Selling fake. No, just, <laughs> what, what they should stop doing, though, is lowballing themselves, man. This is this is getting terrible. Yeah. You know what I mean? When people, when I just told you how I go from what it sell now on StockX right now, what you can say, I'm not thirsty. I never need a StockX to sell a shoe, ever. Yeah. Never sold a shoe on StockX in my life, as long as it's been going. Never sold a shoe on GOAT. Never sold a shoe, shoe on eBay. I bought off I'm before. out here in the, you know, <laughs> getting it gone. Yeah. It's, it's people who sit behind <laughs> the bloggers. <laughs> it's people who sit behind the computers with bots. Order all the sneakers. Be pissing me off. Never got to see nobody sell them all on StockX. They done sold a hundred pair. I mean, they done copped a hundred pair, right? Yeah. They done sold 20 of them for over. You know what I mean? Way over. Way over. Yeah, way over. Let me say that. Let me, let me, st- let me stop tripping. Please. Yeah. I think they came out at 160, 180. When I tried to order it, it was like my screen did some funny shit. Mm-hmm. And then they sent me my money back, like, out of stock. I'm like, how the fuck they out of stock? Y'all just released them. <laughs> then it started popping up all over my phone. Mm-hmm. 340, 320, 250. I was like, man, I'm just going to wait to Nike put them back on their site. Yeah. <laughs> it's serious. So so you have paid resale for some shoes before, high because you because you, yeah. you went on go. Yeah. So, how do you feel about resale? I feel if it ain't a stupid price, I you look. At, I look it? at pricing. Yeah, okay. I pay it because, okay. like, like I said, when these came out, they was like one sixty, one eighty. Okay, I think I paid like two twenty for them when I finally got them. Mm-hmm. But they had some mono ice. Ye- you know what I'm talking about? You yep. shoe guy. The mono, the mono ice, ice Yeezy. all white. Yeah, looking cloud. What yeah. was they when they came out? They two twenty. Two twenty. Came out overseas, yeah. First, one, like only. every time I see them, it's like four seventy five, five twenty. Are oh, they low now though? Oh, we I got some. Them in. We got some at the store. You got them in the eight? Oh, I gotta show you that that I know you would like it. <laughs> I should have bought it for you. <laughs> the only reason I ain't bring it for you is because I ain't want to be disrespect, but I got a great ass shoe that I was gonna, you yeah, know. I about but, to see that. Is like very near DS. I don't know if you know what that means. No, nah, what's DS? DS mean dead stock. Okay. Dead stock mean a brand new how the factory send it to you. All right. So that mean like you never unlaced them. You never tried them on. You ne- Some people like, I never even took it off the box. They really dead stock. Like exactly how the factory sent it. Some people even keep it in a shipping box that Nike sent it to them <laughs> That's that dead, dead stock. People be coming, like, yeah, they dead stock. And or people love to say they brand new. I only wore them once. They not that, brand okay. new. Then. I was going to say, you just shoot, you answered it. I already got to ask. I see that today. When I'm looking at the things, mm-hmm. dude, like, oh, only wore them. He had the, uh, what's the yellow and black? It's like a bright-ass yellow and black. They some Jordans. Bright-ass yellow and black. I wonder if it's the thunders. They they mostly black. Nope, they mostly yellow. Mostly yellow and black. Dang, it's a lot of yellow and black J's. I wonder what. But they the all yellow fives. The, uh, I think they the fives. They yeah. the ones with that little thing on the side. I think but they. That the, ain't there. Yeah. He was like, uh, I only wore them once to a Pacer game. He was like, they brand new. I only wore them once. I'm sitting there watching this shit. I'm like, that's not new. You, <laughs> that's you, not you new. You walked outside. <laughs> that's Dude, not that's, new. We <laughs> laugh about that. I'm finna put that on the shirt. Yeah, they brand new. I wore them once. <laughs> oh, you go cloud with that. One. You gotta sell that at the West today. <laughs> we we go have to do that. They brand, brand new. new only wore them once. once. That is not brand new, though. No that's not brand new. When we think of brand new, we think of brand new. Like you bought them and never took them out the box. But I even considered though, like a person tried them on. I still can say they brand new. That's brand new. Yeah. Because you tried them on. In the real fit. sneaker market, if you send it to StockX, they sending it back. Just because you tried it on? Yeah. StockX don't play. Because they want to give you that experience of it being brand new when you get it. Yeah. They don't play. You got any little dents in the box, a little too big. 
sending it back to you. Yep. Dog did that. He bought some other Jordans. They was all white. Damn near the same Jordans, but everything on it was white. Only thing was red was the jump man. Okay. On the tongue. Dog told him, uh, I think he wanted 300. He talked him down to like 250. <sighs> dog was like, man, give me, uh, yeah, he was like 260. Dog was like, man, I give you 250. No, he said 275. When dude came out with the box, he said, I'll give you 250. Yeah. He dropped $25 just because of the box. It's serious in his Yeah, game. he was like, oh, no. He was like, man, it's been in the box. The box was And, 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 and he, he sold nah. it to him, too, didn't he? Yeah, hell yeah. And he, he still took sold it. it. Yeah. It's serious. Yeah. As soon as he saw the box, he took $25 off. It never was like that in my game. It was never like that. It's serious. Then shoes with no box, some stores don't even accept that. Yeah. Now, what's his new thing with the shoes being saran wrap? Sucked in that plastic. What the what the fuck is up with that? Um, it's just basically to keep you know keep the little pettiness away of people being like, oh, these dirty or these have been worn or these ain't DS because people touching them and they sitting on the shelves, they sitting on the wood shelf in my store and people like, oh, these been worn. Like, no, nah, bro, they been on my shelf. They not even, they ain't never been worn. Now that you so. say that, I think back, my auntie, my whole life, my auntie Rose worked at Foot Locker. She mm-hmm. went from Capitol Court to North Ridge, from North Ridge to 4th and North, from 4th and North to South Ridge, and then she retired. Mm. She told us the trick about that. She said, whenever you go in a store and you buy some shoes, if they say they got to give you the display shoe, you get a discount because everybody done touched it, fumbled yep, with it, yep, and all that. Yeah. And if and no, and not only that, I didn't have some bad miss. And I, and I, me personally, my guy, we do rap on fifth. You know what I mean? But I had some bad mishaps with, man, I had this girl, man. I don't know what makeup she had on because the makeup was all over the shoe. I'm like, what she do, hug the shoe? I don't know. <laughs> I was confused, but it was like she really damaged the shoe. You know? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. That was a loss. <laughs> that was a loss. It was like a mocha or something, too. Like, I shouldn't even let her try it on. It get that serious. She like, this is a $400 a- shoe. You done put makeup all over it. Well, she probably had it on her hand, and when she put the shoe on, Probably scratched her face or rubbed her face or some <laughs> shit. I probably would have made her buy that motherfucker. I was like, damn, when I noticed later. You noticed later. I was yeah. like, oh, man. Did, uh, what's the biggest problem you and the team had to solve this year? This year? Man, it's too much to overcome this year. It's been a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's the we still ain't overcome yet. I still, you know, Jefferson still ain't even open right now. You know what I mean? Okay. So it's it's still it's still a lot to overcome. If you're Bobby Axon, why Jefferson not open? And you just open the other spot. Right. You now? ain't gotta answer if you don't want to. We can talk about it off camera. If you don't want it out there. Me and you gonna holler. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Me and you gonna holler, man. <laughs> So what concerns you for the next year? 2024. What's on the list? What's what you gotta check off? Man. What do I gotta check off? I feel it's a lot I gotta check off. I'm gonna hit you with it. I'm gonna hit you with it. <laughs> what you got there? Crooked, man. I'm high as a motherfucker too. <laughs> I'm high as a motherfucker too, man. But man, yeah, it's a lot I gotta accomplish. It's a lot. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot, man. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see, man. Uh, what's been your most memorable? What's been your most memorable moment in the shoe industry? Most memorable moment. My most memorable mo- moment, I can say. Uh, I used to watch this one dude who used to sell nothing but PEs and samples. And um, he used to sell them for like 10000 and stuff like that. And I was like, people really buying shoes for this price. I seen it today. That's why I was like, I'm looking at that thing. I'm like, motherfucker really just paid 7500 for some Jordans? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I end up 
catching one, a PE. So a PE, bro, is like a player exclusive. So the player exclusive is um, but like just schools, artists, you know, they only make it for certain people. Like Eminem got a PE. Um, some stores got PEs, you know what I mean? But Marquette get PEs. Okay. Because they have basketball schools like Marquette, Florida. Um, All right, go back. What PE mean? Player, player exclusive. Player exclusive, okay. Yeah, so like basically people who just play for the teams. Yeah. But they do make them like say for artists and stuff like that too in stores. But a PE is like very exclusive. It's only for the certain people. And I got my hands on one finally for like 2000 and I sold it for 5500 That's probably my most recent. Oh, shit. And I was like, oh, this shit real. You make me want to sell some <laughs> shit. <laughs> Caught it for two and sold it for five? Mm-hmm. Ooh, who who shoe was it? It was a Marquette PE. That was it? You can't really say who shoe it is, too. Because people would get in trouble. Yeah. You know that, right? No. That's why I'd be serious <laughs> with them shoes, too. They, man, everything. Like, I- if you see some of them, yeah. I spent the I spent the whole day like we talked about off camera. Yeah, YouTube is a university to me. For sure. Anything I want to know, I go to YouTube and just watch videos on it. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, bro, got the shoe store. Let me get up on the shoe game. Yeah, I'm watching that shit. I'm like, this shit is serious. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, like, it's this, serious. This shit is serious. It's serious. I thought it was just people buying shoes and reselling. No, <laughs> that shit is a serious business. It is. I think that how many billions that they said it was built something billion industry a year for sure. They they said they said I don't know how old this one was. I watched. I didn't look at when it was posted. The video I watched said the resale industry was going to outsell the regular industry that year for sure. Like money wise for sure. Like if like, like if they sold a billion. The resale industry was going to do $3 billion. And I say that to say certain things like if you can wake up on your phone and you, like you say, retail 160 180 for some Travis Scott lows, for some Chunky Dunky lows, and you can sell them for 2000 1600 or yeah. a thousand. I don't even know nothing in life. You can wake up on your phone at 9 a.m., Hit this for 160, bam, I'm up a G, and go back to sleep. And I was in the streets heavy. I still ain't stumbled <laughs> across a drug you can buy <laughs> at, that, at that number and make that profit. I'm <laughs> like, whoa, this is serious. Yeah, they serious. Though. So that's why when you saying like that, that resale margin, look at it. You paying 160, and I'm selling it for a G. So boom, that's the, in that market, you know yeah. what I mean? It's quadruple, and you know, Man, they sell like, the shoe. I'm a little tipsy, so I can't do the math right now. I'm just going to say 10. That's a, like, no, that's like 100% markup. That's what I'm there. saying, for real. Yeah. What can you do? You probably stocks. But this is for sure. This, this is for sure. Is, stocks go up. If, you, down, if you, you hit it, crash. you hit it. Yeah. I mean, but you know, this is stock market. The shoes are stock market, too. <laughs> The shoe, yeah. So, being you from Milwaukee, hold on, you was born here though, right? I know you was raised here. You was born here. Man, you know where I'm from. Okay. <laughs> I so, lived. I was there for six months. Still, they st- we still there. Not, we still got. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you think the the city supports you the way you think they should support you? No, they don't. But I ain't tripping because I make them support me. Cause yeah. you got to, cause I got the cheapest prices and the nicest shit. You know what I mean? So and you I did that. Make what, what was the uh, Friday sale? Friday skills every Friday. Yeah. Okay, tell the people. That's hey, that camera. Friday skills is every Friday. <laughs> Videos <laughs> drop Thursday night. Y'all know this though. <laughs> Y'all know that if you rocking with the rock. Y'all know Friday steals, and I and I and I take pride in that man. I make it affordable. People yeah. be coming like, man, I heard about the deals. Make it affordable. Okay, like, you got shoes, man. 
it got to be shoes right now for 50 bucks, 40 bucks, 30 bucks, like 60, 80, all through the store. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said re-rock on fifth. So y'all got girl shoes, women's shoes too? Every shoe. Baby? Yeah, I just, listen, I just told my little guy. He was like, man, I ain't going to buy them. Cause, oh, man, so all right, let me tell you how I got it, man. It's a resale university on Rerock on 5th, too. <laughs> okay. Shout out to my boys. <laughs> shout out to my boys, man. They get it in, man. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to Dros. Shout out to Universal Kicks. Shout out to EJ Kicks. Shout out to Native Kicks. You know what I mean? Yeah. They yeah. all they all in the meal? So what I'm, yeah, they all in the meal. So shout out to Dros. Because Joe's moved from Madison. He live here now. Okay. See, th- this one. This store's do. in Madison who wanted my boy Joe's. See, he I'm, here. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get all y'all back next time. Yeah. I'm going to need all y'all at yeah. one time. I'm going to need all y'all at one time. And <laughs> this, this, hey, man, there's all <laughs> diff- different races, man. Shout out to my boy Joe's. He, a, he Mexican. Shout out to my boy Native. He an Indian. You know what I mean? Shout out to. My boys, Universal, they us. This is we networking. These are my people, man. These are yeah. my brothers. <laughs> These young people too, though. I'm I, I finna show you something because one of the show big one of the big homies hit me. He up north though. He went from uh, you gotta know who I'm talking about. He went from Shano. You gotta be talking about my boy Sneaker Moves. Yeah. Roscoe, yeah. Scope. that's my boy. <laughs> Shout out to Sneaker Moves. Sneaker moves. He's Them my boy. They in Green Bay right now. Yeah, they went to Green Bay. Them my boys, man. <laughs> that's that's what about OGs. Yeah. Like when I, be, before I moved in the hood, I stayed on twenty. I stayed on thirtieth in Ruby, 29th in Atkinson, where my grandma and my pop stayed. Okay. That's what. Let's go, one of my OGs. Sneaker oh, moves, that's dope. OGs. Yeah. That's dope, man. Me, hey. Man, shout out to Sko, man. Sko just made sure his boy had a table at SneakerCon, Minnesota, on August 12th. Yeah. He just made sure. Okay. And then he <laughs> just put the status up today. Shout out to Rerock making sure his boy at the SneakerCon for the first time ever. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I mean, well, not for the first time ever. Last time, but uh, he's vending for the first time, but. Last time we just went in, yeah, on in Chicago. <laughs> you know what I mean? My boy was like, "Hey man, I said, you know what? I got vending pass for y'all. I'm making sure y'all come." And they came, oh. so he just made sure I got in on on this one. That's that's my man. That's that's, that's one of the OGs. That's the big homie. Little yeah. Fred, don't do that. Little Fred, move around. Police coming. Yeah, get out, get out the way. Go in the house. Yeah, yeah. that's that's one of the OGs. Then man, we ended up boy, we ended man. up in college together. That's my for boy. lack of better description. We ended up in college together. <laughs> man, that's what's up. Yeah, man. he he showed hit me like you for that. I said yeah, that's my nigga. We from the same hood. He said that's my boy. He said that's man. He said that's, that's my, my boy. boy. <laughs> they my peoples. Yeah, <laughs> they know man. They they man. They used to come down, catch on Friday steals, go back to Shano. Make a is, bag. Is he gonna come down for the market? Yeah. Oh yeah. They there. I'm there. I'm, I'm them, there. I'm there just boys, to support man. you. Yeah. If he there, you know I'm really saying? there. Look, look. Hold on. <laughs> and he hit me on the low. He ain't want to put it on the post. He ain't want to put it on that. He just texts me like, "Yeah, you good with him?" I'm like, "I know." <laughs> Yeah. That's, what I'm, that's my boy. What I, what I was thinking, like I should just did Cream City Car Show. Mm-hmm. Is this your first time doing this? It's my first time. Pushing all three of them together every year. Yeah. Second annual, third annual, yeah. fourth annual. Yeah. You gonna be the sneaker con? And I ain't gonna lie, Shug, I love you. I was supposed to be there, but I, man, bro, I be working so hard, bro. I skipped that question because we talked about it. Well, <laughs> the raffle at the car show. I was gonna say, why the fuck you wasn't there? Damn! No, <laughs> you know, why you gotta? I, I, I still had bro, it. Bro. I was just gonna leave it at the end. I was gonna bring it up. Okay, <laughs> bro. I don't. You know, I'm just flowing. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't trying to. You know, I don't. I'm here, man, and ask me. But I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was supposed to be there, man. But I ain't gonna lie, bro. 
We still on right now? Yeah. Okay. I just turned that off because it froze. Oh, okay. okay, okay. <laughs> we, we still on. <laughs> no, but, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I was supposed to be there, but like I was gonna say, I man, I've been working hard as a motherfucker, man. I've been been making sure I have to be at these stores, bro, and I ain't gonna lie. I'm finna have to be at both of these motherfuckers. Hey, you know and what I mean? you, you, you ain't wrong for your work ethic because that's how you build your brand. That's how I build my brand, for sure. Yeah. Because ain't nobody gonna, 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 Go hard for your brand like you, like too, you. at the same Nobody. time. Same time. So I can't just leave it abandoned and just be like, boom, I'm finna go do this. You know what I mean? Especially if we got people who got that, gotta have a team, man. We That's gotta it. have a team. Not like but I, I ain't gonna lie. I swear to you, I'm gonna be at the next one. Oh, the next year. I'm, I'm and go, I'm and I, I really year. wanna have something there. I wanna be, <laughs> be able to have That's something there. That's why I had the question. So not a, let's backpedal. Okay, let's go. You wasn't at the raffle at the. I mean, you wasn't at the car show for the raffle because you was tied up. I was. I man, I'm working like a mother. So you wasn't wrong for that. Yeah. Next year, the first thing I thought when uh, but you just seeing bro name and I know his name selling the raffle ticket. Kendrick. Kendrick. Mm hmm. Soon as Kendrick came to me and said the thing, and I seen the thing with the raffle ticket, the first thing popped in my head was, why the fuck they ain't got. A setup yes. somewhere. Yeah. You can still dump the raffle ticket, but sure. it's supposed to be somewhere right now. Cause that once them two gone. I gotta talk to bro like that because I gotta be set up next time too. Yeah. It, it, we oh, gotta be, be we nice. gotta be set up. It'll be nice. Oh, it's gonna <laughs> be yeah. I thought of that in the moment. I'm like, bro, here, I'm I'm supporting. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, why the fuck he ain't got a table sitting I'm, over here? I'm in there next yeah. <laughs> I'm in there. And, and it's gonna be bigger. It's going to, for sure, it's only going to get bigger, man. Only going to get bigger. We only finna progress, man. It did. Social Junkie only finna get bigger. We man, only finna shit. progress, man. I ain't giving up. They told me it's going to take a year. That's the only way you're going gonna to be, a, be is if you give up, man. Now, gonna look. will never be a letdown, man. Now, we look, ain't gonna the, never do the, that. the thing you just said a couple minutes ago, when everything was... Pour me a little more, Go ahead. Okay. When everything was looking... uh. Gloomy for you, down pops your foot, all that. Mm -hmm. That was the moment most people give up. That was the moment most people give up. For you sure, like, nah. You built a whole fucking brand for in sure. that moment. For sure, I be having the moments. I'm, I'm gonna share something with you that I ain't share with nobody. Yeah, I deal with shit. It's just rapping strength. Mm -hmm. So when I finally admitted it to my girl, right. She said, nigga, ain't nothing wrong with you. You was okay yesterday. Mm -hmm. No, we deal with shit. <laughs> yeah. I ain't going to lie, for real. Yeah. And don't even say nothing about it. it just go nothing. about our day. Just keep going. And even look like, man, damn. <laughs> Only person I could probably tell to is my guy, but I ain't going to need to tell him. He ain't even look weak or nothing. Yeah, like, that, that's deep. how we think about it. It's deep. And, like, and that be the moment yeah. that's going to break you or make you. Yeah. Like, no, I'm going I'm to get up and I'm going to keep pushing. Yeah. So for you to get up and keep pushing, look where you at now. Sure. And pops passed how many years ago? So this was twenty, the end of twenty, the early twenty nineteen. And look where end you of, at now. End of twenty eighteen. This is January. Yeah. Man, this is man. I know that's that was a terrible time for me though. I just remember that man. That was. It was like even like where I'm living. I'm like man, I got to get up out of here and everything. It was just. It was just a bad time. Now, where you was living. Let's go back a little bit more. Okay. Before you caught Jefferson, where the fuck was you looking at that you wouldn't even put your shit down? <laughs> you was I looking ain't at the hood, you, man. You still looking at the hood? I ain't gonna tell you. Me, man. If you was looking where, man, I ain't gonna tell you, bro. You still looking at the hood? I was looking at the, I was looking at the hood for sure. <laughs> I know one one spot I tried to, but they they shot me down like a mug. But it was cool because I ain't want to be in West Atlas. No, no way. Yeah. They, they they shot me down. But like I said, when I offered offered my man's whole year up front, yeah, and told him my 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 get up, like I could sell ten shoes a day. He like, you're on. <laughs> that's hey, that's all they know is 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 numbers. And then you say I got a year for you right now. He needed that in the pandemic. He needed for sure, and what nobody in it. Wasn't nobody in it. Oh yeah, he needed that. When nobody that was a liability to him at that time. It was it, just sitting there. It was another store downstairs too, and um, 
We were supposed to get that. Shout out to my boy who got it though. AJ Ink. I mean, uh, Ink Mob got it. I mean, um, they sound like some tattoo artists. Yeah. Okay. Ink Mode. Ink Mode. <laughs> Ink Mode got it. My boy got it. Um, we and we was in there, man. We was brothers over there. Yeah. Like I said, then that's when the lure came. You know what I mean? Because like I said, with no color of no. Over no. There, man. We it just started crazy. popping up. They can't they, get rid of us. They was, hey. They <laughs> we was, just started popping up. It was some crazy <laughs> stuff going on. Like, it was, um, man. Look, you, you, Allure, and Truth. Ten years ago, y'all would have never got down there. No. Y'all would have never got down there. And, tr- and, and Dog with Truth really fucking them up. He had that spot. When they started building Pfizer and said, "No, I'm not." You selling. know that's the same people, though, right? Truth and the Lord, that's the same. Killed him. He said, "No, I'm not selling." That's Tino. Yeah, <laughs> he said, "No, I'm not no. selling." <laughs> yeah. And they probably offered him a bag because they was building Pfizer. <laughs> he said, "No, I'm not selling." So what you see, we rocking two to five years. Oh man, we got to be a big brand. I be man, I be. You already a brand. You got to be a bigger brand. I mean, <laughs> we gonna speak this shit into existence. Yeah. <laughs> I want. I want to step into uh to a different lane like this too, man. I want to, yeah. But I ain't gonna lie, I'm scared too. I was scared at first. It took me probably to where we at right now. What you see right now. It's probably a year and a lot of money. This area then changed how many times? It's all type of Ain't shit. Ain't none of this here. cheap. No. Nah. And none of this shit. This cheap <laughs> at all. <laughs> None of it. And then I still season one is looking good to me. It's it's still season one. Season two, three, when I upgrade them lenses. When I looked at the lenses, the lenses cost more than the camera. It'd be like that, too. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> yeah, the lens cost Man. more than the camera. So, when you want to do it, whenever you're ready to do it. Because I, I tell you everything. No charge. I'm going to tell you the cords I know you to just get seen the wires. People, but no, I'm saying, I know you just seen people walking around the sneaker con. Yeah. With their cameras. Yep. Man, or know. or you can see people just at the register, you know what I'm saying, buying and selling and stuff at their store. I'm just, man, I don't know. <laughs> but I ain't going to lie, I'm not good on the tech side. If I did that, you know what I mean, if I had to, you know, you know, get the equipment and get the setup done, I'm still the tech side. Because is, is you doing this yourself or what? I'm doing this myself. My man, hit the hit the. <laughs> I, do, I, I do this. I do this all myself with with my lovely assistant. Uh, she gives me input. Yeah, she tells me what don't look right, what don't sound right. Don't set that there. Set this here. Take them out. Get these couches. I'm gonna get you these couches. Take that other shit out. That's why I look so good, man. Yeah. <laughs> this is <what> need. <laughs> you need that tea. <laughs> she, she helped with that, so we ain't got to keep getting up. So I ain't got to keep getting up. It, it be moments, though. Uh, uh, shit, what else? Shit, she helped with everything. I be going crazy around this motherfucker. That's what's up, man. <laughs> That's what's up. Now, I, I, I asked about That's women's shoes. Cause I'm gonna bring her down there. Got you. Yeah, we gotta get her. You know we taking care of the family. I got some good ones too. <laughs> that's what I, 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 I ain't gonna lie. That just can't. So yeah, remember? I think I was gonna tell you something about that. Cause when you said you said this and this and that, I just told you. Shout out to all my boys. Cause all the resellers is in there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Shout out to my boys. You know, I rent. I rent out the racks. Boom. You got the whole. You could become an entrepreneur. Oh, yeah. You, you can really rent the climb. wall out and sell your shoes in the store right here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Let me try to Google these real quick. Go ahead. Keep going. So, 
Um, what I was gonna say, I went to war a lot. So I don't know, I'm tripping. That's why I know I'm high. <laughs> I'm high. I shouldn't have smoked when I did this. See, these are the ones I already I got. shouldn't have did I this. I shouldn't have smoked. Them fire. Yeah, I got them. I ain't ever seen them either. Them it fire. Did, it, it did caught a jacket off Amazon and match it. Them fire. <laughs> these the ones I wanted. Little Ron told me to come down there. And Listen. as soon as I hit it, they popped up on Goat. Yeah, I knew you were talking about them. <laughs> them the ones I wanted. That's the ones I knew you was talking about. <laughs> That's them joints. Yeah, as soon as I seen them, I was like, oh, I got to have them. They're going to look good. I got the pants for them and everything. Yeah. Ain't even wore the pants. I got the pants for them and everything. That's hard. <laughs> but back to that, where you see Rerock in three to five years? A bigger brand? Man. Bigger store? Ain't no tell. Or a n- bigger store or another store? I really want to get, I got to jump city. Since I know, you know, that's you what I'm wrong. saying. You ain't wrong at all. Go ahead. <laughs> Talk your shit. You I ain't wrong jump at all. City. You got jump city. You ain't wrong at all. Because <laughs> we're, uh, didn't trust the kicks, jump city? Yeah, they in Texas. Yeah. I, l- I love to go to Texas. Yeah. But I don't want to be following or doing nothing like that. But I got to jump cities. I ain't going to even say what city I'm trying to jump. I ain't going to even put, I I don't even like putting them on my moves or nothing. I I be the same way. That's why you like, you like, hold on, what you been doing this year and this year? I don't know. I can't tell them. You just want to be bigger. I can't tell people. Yeah, you just want to be bigger. I got to be bigger though. And when I mean a brand where, like I said, I forced them to support me. Yeah. It ain't like it's mad support or none. But I don't even, you know, ask for mad support because I got to do what I got to do. So what all do you got in there? Is it only shoes? That's where we go to it. All right, last yeah. time. Last time. <laughs> let me correct this. Let me it correct came this. back to me. <laughs> Damn. Damn, last thing. You said, what's the, all right, my guy was like, man. Should I buy these shoes <laughs> if they're size <laughs> six? I said, yes, you should buy me a good deal. He said, but I don't sell grade school shoes. I said, so do you sell size shoes 8 through 12, or do you sell shoes? You know what I mean? I meant that is, like, I don't just sell size this such and such to such. I yeah. sell shoes. I got from 0C to 18 in men's. Okay. So a zero C. People don't even see zero C. So zero I ain't C, never even heard of one C, C. What two the fuck C, is zero C, a newborn? That, that, yeah. <laughs> a zero C to an 18 in men. Like that's that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Only you know, Giannis don't even wear 18. He wear a 16. His little brother wear 18 to Asinki. Hey, that, I I had a plan on DM and Giannis, right? Mm-hmm. I still might do it. But I told myself, I said, DM Bobby Porter. He seemed more likely to show up. Hey, I ain't going to lie. Bobby might show up. Bobby a fan f- favorite, too. <laughs> but, I ain't going to lie. Bobby, man, we were supposed to do something with Bobby, too. Bobby was supposed to put his, 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 his clothes in the store or something like that. Yeah. And that's when I was like, you know, I like to just turn that one off. Make, make make the most of everything. You yeah. know what I mean? So, when I say I like to make the most of everything, instead of, like, trying to charge somebody, like, if you wanted to put your clothes in my store, instead of trying to charge you per item, I'd just rather just charge you for the rack. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I'd rather just do something like that. But we we supposed to do something, though. That's all I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> you know you got a clothing line, too, right? No. Yeah. I ain't know that. To do That's something. why I'm going to get him on my way. Yeah. If it's if it's slick, I'm gonna rock it. I ain't it's gonna slick. Wear it. If it's slick, I'm gonna rock it. Yeah. So what's up with re-rock clothing line? That's why I say we're supposed to be a bigger brand. We supposed to have everybody rocking the rock. <laughs> we supposed to rock. be a way bigger brand. <laughs> rocking the rock. Everybody's supposed to be rocking the rock. <laughs> go we, here, go ahead and kill the rest of that. <laughs> when it when it come out, let me know because I got another guy uh, from the hood. He got rich black guy. Okay. He posted to send me a shirt. He said, man, I need you to wear the shirt on the podcast. I said, Lord, send it to me. I'm going to wear it. Because mm-hmm. I fuck with Hov. All I've been wearing on here is favorite players. Man, all I do is support the people. That's it. All you got to do is tell me. That's why when Kendrick Ooh. said it, 
I be doing so much running around, driving the truck. Come back here, trying to do all this shit, trying to study, do all that. So what do you like? Bro, you got to get VT. I hit you. Soon as it came back in my head after I got done editing, I was like, man, you told me to hit VT. I hit you. I wish I ain't <laughs> had to come on here by myself either, man. I wish somebody would have came on here with me. We we coming back. You coming back with all the shoe guys. We got to. You we coming back. To. And then I'm going to have you sit over here so we can question all of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we coming back with all the shoe guys. <laughs> yeah, they going to put you on game. Like I said, Joe's came from Madison. People wanted Joe's from Madison. Joe's Dakota's legit checker. I know Joe's is this dude going to be cold. Yeah. He a young dude. He 22. Joe's going to be a beast. He got, he got a store in Madison? No. He, uh... He got a store in Rerock. <laughs> oh. <He> got a <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Dros is a beast, man. You know what I mean? The code is cleaner. Code is legit checker. You know what I mean? He he do every angle. Yeah. With it. You know what I mean? He go. He gonna he gonna be where he need to you be. Gonna have, you gonna have to send me all their what's the names too, so I can mm-hmm. tag all of them too. So, is there anything you think I missed? Anything you want to add? The camera isolated on you. Man, not, not really none. <laughs> <laughs> man, you know what? Uh, hey. So re rock, we got we got re rock on Jefferson. Yeah. We got re rock on I Fifth. might rename it. You can taking the re rock out? Um You branding, don't take I'm the re rock out yet. I might rebrand it. Add something behind the re-rock. Don't take the re We might have to chop yet. it. You know, I don't even be chopping it, bro. I'll just be on some, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I might rename it to The Rock. That's still close enough. That's so still close I enough. I might re- just name it to The Rock and then have re-rock on fifth. So, oh, going back, because I kind of fucked the question up. Do you have any clothes? Yes. yes, yes. Oh, okay, okay. I got jogging fits. You know what I mean? But oh, this, <laughs> that tickled her. I, she know I'm gonna be in there. <laughs> I, 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 I fuck yeah. with jogging suits. Man. I don't even own a coat. I own I ain't gonna, jogging what size suits. Is it? Large. I'm just gonna bring you some. Come around this way. Come around this way. I'm just gonna bring you some. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna, for real. Yeah, I'll be on the coat. I own jogging suits. That was, oh, oh, that was yours? That was his? Yeah. Come back. <laughs> Give me the phone. <laughs> I was looking at That's you. dope. I thought you were yeah, And I ain't going to lie. <laughs> I ain't going to need to lie. That's the only one that sold out. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only one that sold out. That colorway not available. That's dope. That's the homie, too. We huh? should have had her here, but she wouldn't have been quiet. She just sat over there. Talked all day. That's <laughs> dope. <coughs> but yeah, Lark, I don't even, I don't even own a coat. I own sweatsuits. I got. I you. own sweatsuits and hats. I got you. <laughs> Let the people know where can they find you at? Man, they can find us at Rerock IG underscore underscore. Um, that's the only place they need to find us at. Really. You ever Google and yourself? No, nah, they need to pull up <coughs> on 713 South 5th Street. 713 South 5th Street. 713. You ever Google yourself? No. Nope. You damn near got a whole uh, Google biography. <laughs> a Google biography? Who the hell would have wrote that? I don't even know. It's on there. Uh, let me type See, it in. I ain't savvy <laughs> at all. Nothing like that. I don't. It's it's show all there. <laughs> Cause that's where uh well, I ain't gonna even say that. That's crazy. <laughs> you say something like that. I wonder if it's correct. The one on top of the Instagram. Did you know that was there? And then keep trolling. That whole that whole page is about y'all. <laughs> you ain't ever Googled yourself, my nigga? I mean, I don't really <laughs> look at it, though. Yeah. <coughs> that is. 
damn, it got to the point where like, yeah, it got to the point they like, what the fuck? Yeah. Is what Some of the shit I wrote in the post I got from there. Hold on. They added us on there. That's what's up. Yeah. <laughs> you got traffic. No, I'm you saying. You got motion. It don't even say re-rock on fifth. It say re-rock MKE. Yeah. That's re-rock on fifth. If y'all ever, did they ever Google some M- re-rock? They just made their own. <laughs> Google the truth. That's how, <laughs> hey, you know why they did that? <laughs> you got motion. Because we got to shoot out of town. Because that's re-rock MKE. We got to be re-rock something else. Something else. <laughs> re-rock ATL or something. Yeah, I got my, my little brother just moved. He outside of ATL, but he just moved out there. Hey, man. But not only can we find you on Instagram, we can find you on Google on different sites now that I showed you. Uh, where can we find you outside of Rerock? You can find me at Rerock. <laughs> <laughs> find you at Rerock. You find me at Rerock for sure. So. And then Facebook though, re rock on Facebook though too, right? Re rock on Facebook, yeah. Because I ain't even I ain't even see that. I, only I don't see know. It. I gotta check it, man. See, look, it'd be cold if I had somebody like just on all the things, just platforms going crazy. Yeah, because I had a team. Because I got this. It's I, serious. I got this for you. Yeah, man, you here with the rock. Re rock on fifth to be exact. Just letting y'all know about the sneaker market that we got coming up August 27th. Gonna do that. Yeah. <laughs> they 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 gonna do that without a doubt. <laughs> uh, so uh, nothing, nothing at all. You think I missed? Uh, I'm high, man. I shouldn't did this high. I'm gonna keep it saying. <laughs> I should have been on point. You ain't wrong. I you high? I'm tired. It all worked but out. I, I ain't when I chop I, it up, just, it's gonna I, still be good. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to chill. Yeah, you know, be me. You know what I mean? But the uh, name your shoe guys again. First off, little buddy, little buddy that was just in the video. EJ kicks. EJ kicks. <laughs> now, little buddy that was in the the video holding the the shoe market. Slim Thugger. That's Slim. Slim, he said something. He said, he said, re rock something. What'd he say? Oh, I wonder what he said. Re rock on fifth. Did he say that? No, he said like an Instagram. He made it seem like it was an Instagram name. Mm-hmm. Okay, some thug. <laughs> I, I 
call you Slim Thing. Yeah, Slim though. Everybody know him Slim. They be like, yeah. Kendrick, we got his. <laughs> uh, your man's in them, the other shoe store, Roscoe. <laughs> Sneaker moves, Green Sneaker Bay. You moves. in Green Bay? You better tap in. D and J. <laughs> you better tap in. My yeah. man's got it up there. Mm-hmm. I, I stay in his shit. He be like, nigga, you wear eight, nigga. Do you know how fast eight sell out? <laughs> For sure. For sure. That's crazy. How it's all about sizes. It's all yeah. About everything, man. He be like, you know how fast an eight sell out? Uh, who we got in the mill? Matter of fact, I'm gonna throw it to you this way. In two weeks, you coming back? Mm-hmm. What two other shoe people you bringing with you? Shoe people? Um, this on the same thing you on. They got some motion Honestly, right man, I'd rather, like, show you people. And, you know, you feel like they characters. Like, who? Uh, no, not the characters, but who they are and who you want to bring. Because, you know. Who you, who you feel like on what we on, trying to build a brand? Not somebody trying to make some quick money. I know, I feel... You ain't even got to answer it on camera because I don't want none of the people you fuck with to feel no, no type of way. No. <laughs> like I said, man, I fucks with all of them. Yeah, All, all okay. my people, they trying to they trying to go to the highest level that all they right. can go. You so we, we, we going to put it together. Two weeks from now, matter of fact, what the fuck is today? The 4th? That's on the 27th? The 27 is a what? The 27 is a Sunday. A Sunday. Let's do it the Friday. Okay. Before sneaker market. The 25th? 25th. Yeah. Grab two people. Bet. Grab two people that got some motion. It's come. Matter of fact, grab one. Because I'm going to see. I should. No, look for two. I'm going to see what day Sco coming down. I'm going to see what day Roscoe coming down. Uh. I'm going to see what day Roscoe coming down. Uh, so look for two. If Roscoe would be down on that Friday, I'm going to ask Roscoe, Roscoe gonna you have to and bring one more. Jet, though. Oh, yeah. We Roscoe got to bring Jet. Yeah. <laughs> tell, I'm telling you, D and Jet got to come together. And then this was crazy. Me and this man set in school, right? That's how I describe it. We set in school. Everything Skull told me he was going to do. He did. He hit me a couple months ago. Mm. He said, bro, everything you told me you was going to do, you did. Yeah. I said, bro, same to you. <laughs> everything you said you That's was going to do, you did. Yeah. <laughs> That's motivation, man. Yeah. We motivate each other, man. I love it, man. We yeah. motivate each other. Because if we can get... Shout out to all the motherfucking sneaker stores in Milwaukee. <laughs> I fuck. Oh, <laughs> I ain't know it was that many. When I got to Google it, I'm like, how many you think it is? I wonder, can you name them? And I'll many. tell you what you what you missing. I, the one Cause thing you gonna I, miss something. Hey, one thing I can tell you, I don't remember the name. But when I Googled it, it was like Rerock, Trusted Kicks, uh, Skull way up there. So Skull really don't count. He popped up. Damn, it was another one. But this dude was like a, a skateboarder looking dude with tattoos. White dude. Let me I tell you a bar. Go ahead. You got um flashback up there in Mayfair. You got Hold on. Is that your mess? I fucks with all of them. Y- you fuck with him. I fuck with him. Which too. one? I don't know. One of them we walk you in. You don't know who it is. It might be somebody just doing their job. Who to- who charged too much? <laughs> <laughs> they all a hair store. <laughs> we walked in. Hold on. Where your man's at? He upstairs or downstairs? I don't know. It's two stores in there? It was two of them. One of them closed, though. They the same people. Well, he closed one of them because one was upstairs yeah. and one was downstairs. They must have moved then. Oh, the my same God. people. It's flashback, right? That's the Ice Mono Yeezys. How much they want? They wanted like 450 I don't know what time period. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the beginning know. of the summer. That's our flashback getting done. When Yeezy was going through his bullshit. With his with his uh racial slurs and shit. When what nobody supposed to be buying Yeezy. <laughs> I'm like, all right, these motherfuckers gotta drop now. Ain't nobody yeah. buying them. 
<laughs> he still won four fifty. I don't knock him though. Everything in there looked and meant. Everything in there was one hundred. Mono Yeezys for four fifty is crazy. Man, them, I don't give a fuck what time period it is. Look, I, I, I'm Mono. I'm, if they ever have Mono Yeezys in there for four hundred, four fifty, they bogus. I'm gonna take it back just a little bit. It might not been that much, but it was too okay, fucking I'm much. Say, <laughs> if they had that in there, it was too fucking knows. much. They fucking bogus. Yeah, it was too fucking. Okay. Then we looked at some. It was. It was close. Much. Yeah. Then we looked at they some Jordan. We looked at some Jordans and shit, and I was like, "Yeah, we can get out of here." <laughs> one pair of shoes in here. I go to finish line. Give me two of the the new nineties that just came yeah. out. Hey. And hold on to them. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked with the nineties though, man. Nineties, <laughs> my shit. I rocked the fuck out the nineties. Well, yeah. Who got the ones I just showed you though? Man, I ain't gonna lie. Right now, you it's gonna have to be like a sneaker show, or you got to order them. Certain shit like that. Yeah, you ain't gonna see Animal Air Mac ones. Hold on, them not the nineties though. Them not nineties. Okay, them like okay. ninety. I just make it so they ninety something else. Them not nineties. Nah, they they really like that's the Air Mac one. Is that what it is? Yeah, what's the one? That's the first shoe with ever. God damn. We got, a, we got a real shoe god here. <laughs> the motherfuckers is. Let me tell you how deep it Atmos is. Atmos Air Max 1 DXL Animal Pack 218. Let me tell you how deep that shoe is. That's the first shoe ever with an air bubble. Now, look, I wear an 8. That's deep. I wear an 8, 375. Mm-hmm. Don't look on there. They no, that's just when I Googled it. That was the first picture oh. that popped up. Yeah, goat is more than stock ass. Goat used shoes be the same price as stock ass. So, oh, she gonna be mad at you. You got me on here looking at all type of shit. <laughs> but even, even though them women's, yeah. So them nineties, yeah, them nineties, them nineties, them nineties sure. all day. Yeah. Even them uh the zebra ones I just showed you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, uh, I love Air Max. I, I'm talking about every time a new pair come out. Whoa, what the fuck is these? Oh, I need to get out of my phone because we sitting here doing something. I wonder, did it really look like this? Let me see it, man. No, that's a lot of different shoes. That's a lot of different shoes. I can tell you every on. different shoe that is. That's yeah. how deep it is. I'm <laughs> let me get out of there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Let me see. That's let me see. Lot. Let me make sure we covered everything. Yeah. How you got started, the business, location. I, I still got to give you. I know you paid your way, but God damn, yeah, downtown. What's crazy is, bro, it's. it's hold, hold, hold on, let me cut you off. Okay. Do you know what you really did to the black business community when you popped up downtown? You ain't even grasped it no, yet, have you? I ain't gonna you say that. I ain't gonna lie to that. Cause shit, Trusted Kicks was already downtown. I ain't gonna sit here and act like See, I was the I, first yeah. to do it. They was already downtown. Yeah, they was down man. there. They was but it was something there. about your. It might be that block then. When you no, got Jefferson. I ain't gonna lie. You want me to tell you what it is? When you got Jefferson. It's that goddamn Fister Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> it's the <fucking> athletes. <laughs> Mark Jackson coming in there like, yeah, shoes they won't. That's on me. Yeah. I'm like, damn. <laughs> I'm on FaceTime. I ain't even at the store. Hey, I'm on FaceTime me like, yeah, Mark Jackson just bought the kids all shoes in there. Yeah, it, it, it fucked me up because <laughs> even when we saw my bro with yeah. the with the club. Yeah. Well, he, he said, bro, that nigga downtown. I said, bro, that nigga downtown. <laughs> I, said, I said, he snapped. Eddie on the right block. Let me see. Startup business. We went back to the raffle. You was tied up. Shoes, all that, all that, all that. What you got for me? What you think you want to ask me? Man. I really, I really want you know, want to ask you something about sneakers because I, I really, you know, like I said, I want a podcast about sneakers or something like yeah. that too. You know what I mean? Ask away. I, or I, I just want to. 
like you said, I know you do your research, so you know you've seen how the people move with sneakers. And I just wanted to get more familiar on what you think I should do to to do some stuff like that. But that's more on some like big bro shit. Like, yeah, I need your help with this. But I ain't, I don't know what to ask you right now. I don't really got nothing to ask. I, you know I, what I mean? I partially ask what you said on camera, and then we can chop it up later. Then meet another time when we edit this over. What you doing right now is the right thing. I would say more. You got the brand. I would say more advertisement, more showing up and shit. For sure. The prices I saw, and I slowed your videos down. Mm. I slowed them down. Point <laughs> zero five. Yo, price is reasonable. Shit. And then I, t- I told you, Reezy kept telling me when I them shoes. Man, he Reezy, said, "Bro, go shout out to Reezy." <laughs> <laughs> He said, but the reason, hey, look, for real, look he told me where to go, but the reason why I don't trust, bro, I think he print money in his house. <laughs> hey. That nigga just go buy man, anything. Yeah. Hey, I remember when he had a fetish with them Yeezys. That boy is going that crazy. got a fetish. <laughs> hey, but Yeezy finna be extinct. Yeezy finna have all the motherfuckers chilling. The man said, the, the man told me, bro, he said, bro, I never go broke. I can start selling shoes. And he's not lying. He Reezy. got a house full of shoes. Reezy he got a storage facility call. full of shoes. He's going to call me. Get this shit, get rid of this shit. And it's going to go down. Every pair of shoes he grabbed for you, he literally, I seen him in one time and never seen the shoe again. Now, man, where the plan. fuck you get them from, re Where the I, fuck you get them from, re when I showed him them shoes, he said, bro, go holla at bro. But then I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, Reezy, you print money. <laughs> so you willing to pay. <laughs> like somebody tell you 375, you be like, all right, here. But that's another thing I want to get into is like hosting people clauses. Like I want to do some shit like that, like middlemen and people clauses because people really don't know what they got. Yeah. They don't know what it's worth. They don't even know how to fucking clean it. Because it's certain ways to even clean certain things, man. Man, I'm so My mad boy Jordan told me so much stuff. When this shit wrinkles and tight. Man, they just told me something. Camera. You want me to tell you on camera? <laughs> yeah. Get a blow dryer. Oh, shit. You a, a blow dryer for to go to work. <laughs> Nigga, a blow, blow dryer <laughs> right now this second. I swear to God, every crease is out of there. Crazy, man. This they done taught me so many tricks. I said, damn, this shit this is crazy. This is crazy. Uh, we just went to the homie... Uh, T superstar. We just went to her birthday party. She got some Jordans. And one of the Jordans, I was like, only thing bothered me is that crease. Cause you know how we yeah. used to buy shoes. I'm yeah. saying she Googled how to take the crease out. It showed, didn't it show something? They put they put like a hot towel over it with a blow dryer. And I was like, a blow dryer? No to hot towel. No hot towel. Grab it. Keep going. Wave. Bro, them coming out so fast on them. That's why it happens. <laughs> they, it's coming out so That's fast. That's the only thing that I ain't like. I was like, why the fuck the crease is in there? I said, my people teach me so much. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I don't even hide none of the game. You know what I mean? That's why I give her the game out for free. Uh, that's how I am. So whenever you ready to uh, do the podcast, I'll tell you everything to buy. For real. No charge. Er, er, bro, buy this. Buy these things. Buy this. By these wires, they got to be this length. It depends on how far you want the camera away. All this and all. The lighting. It, everything you watch had totally different lights. Mm-hmm. These new lights. The old lights behind that curtain. Because it's, it's, man, and you don't even want to try to cover at them. It's the, you know, let them see the, the growth and develop, you know. Yeah. Let them see how you, you know, you got to, you know. Then they told me, they said, the thing I was watching, they said, the first sign of growth is organic followers. Mm -hmm. With the Instagram page, you got organic followers? Um, I never have, I never did a sponsor ad ever. 
Yeah, you got organic That's solid. messed up. You ain't you know what paid mean? for nobody yeah. to look or nothing. Yeah. This is all, but I'm super word of mouth. Yeah. If you see me out and I talk to you, I done definitely told you about what's going on with me. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> I done sat with you at the gym like, yeah, you know I sell shoes, especially if I see you do it. I'm like, everybody like shoes. I see you, I'm like, I see you out the sky, man, hey. <laughs> I got some purple. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I got some orange ones too. Because not only do I sell them, I buy them too. Yeah. You might be I'm like, oh, I'm holding, these, on, I'm holding on with my shit to go bad. But I might catch you that slick because you like, bro, I got little creases in them and they wrinkling. I don't even want them anyway. <laughs> I catch your shit and hit it with the blow dryer. You like, and your shit for sale the next day. You like, I might buy them oh, back. Oh, you that hit me. <laughs> Oh shit! (laughs) But uh, one more time, we got Re Rock on Instagram, Facebook, VT Hutchkins, and Re Rock. Uh, say one more time. (laughs) Hutchins. Hutchins. Shout out to Shoe Market one more time. Date where we're gonna be at. Shout out to the market. We're doing it August twenty seven at Zo. Kalu. Zokalu something. It's like it's um it's right on the most it's, people it's, know where it's, it's at. It's on the corner. Yeah. I'm messing with them. Yeah. <laughs> we rocking. It's on the <laughs> we rocking. We yeah. rocking. <laughs> and yeah, re rock. That's like I said. Cause they try to lend me ASAP. And I already hit them with the comeback because they like they just kind of felt like re rock was like just for shoes, like Yeah. No. Nah. Rerock is everything. You know what I yeah. thought Rerock was? Talk to me. I buy it. Okay. Rock it one day. Okay. You see me and like, bro, I give you this, this, that, and that. Yeah. I say, all right. I'll bring you the shit the next day. You cash me. Yeah. Somebody else buy it. They're re-rocking it. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's for sure. Yeah. That's <laughs> a, it was crazy. I didn't re-rock Several, I, I didn't got an item, sold it, got it back, sold it, got it back, sold it, got it back, sold it, and they done sold it somewhere else. Yeah. Off of one item. Everybody made a lot of shit. money off the same item. Boom, 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 boom. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I was saying that to say, like, not just shoes. It's re rock, re recycling everyone's rare objects. Objects can be anything. We re rocking houses, we re rocking <laughs> cars. We re rock. You know I'm saying, I'm saying that to say, like, rocking shoes, houses, <laughs> no, for real. cars. And I say that on the on the used market, like no, because I love the used market. I yeah. don't like the brand new market. I don't like it on some making money stuff. Yeah, because y'all act like the used market is so terrible where I'm at. But at the same time. Unless you buy your cars off the showroom floor or buy build your houses from the ground up, man. We re rocking everything. We re rocking everything. <laughs> you ain't you ain't never lie with that one. <laughs> uh, well let me uh, uh, let me sit up. Uh first off, I wanna apologize to Kevin Hart and shout out Rick Ross. <laughs> We drinking champagne tonight. We started out drinking Kevin Hart, but oh, we is on it like that. Yeah, we got rose on the table now. <laughs> White Bel Air, uh, blue Bel. I don't even know what the fuck that shit called. <laughs> uh, I remember. I, hey, you know I used to sell this shit for one hundred fifty dollars a bottle. Yeah. Do you know that? You knew that? Yeah, that shit was going. I remember when it oh, came okay. out. That shit was going. The yeah. blue face for the blue. Yeah, <laughs> that shit was going. <laughs> and I used to catch them, 288 case. Ooh. Sell six of them. You still got that blue? One, one. No, I mean. That's we talking about it off camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, no. When they had, like, we re-rocking everything. I used to resell let me and stop saying don't that. Don't do that because I'm going to re-rock an after hour and ask you, bro. No, I ain't. Yeah. I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about re-rocking them. We was giving them away. <laughs> yeah, we was giving them away. I ain't talking about them away. I ain't talking. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. You <laughs> see? Uh, we we, we, we finna wrap this. We finna wrap this up. 
Shout out to Joe Buttons. We ran out of time. <laughs> we'll catch you next time, Mariah. <laughs> Once again, re rock address. 713 South 5th Street. 713 South 5th Street. And 773 North Jefferson. 773 North Jefferson. Yes. Tap in. Google him. <laughs> <laughs>
this is just me solo. Yeah. When you you can tell who one hundred percent is that person. Mm. Mm. Five percent. Yeah. When you look at your page, you can tell that's you. Yeah. When you look at anybody else that tag you or you do something, they're sharing you something. They're mm. showing that they paid. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. No, I did I never even knew Jack. Jack you started out with Jack? Yeah. I didn't know that. Deep shit. I thought Duck was his real estate agent. He was. <laughs> <laughs> Deep shit, bro. Like he did some dumb shit. A lot of Say too was uh, I don't know if that's the right one. The twenty eight, twenty seven, twenty seven. I'm on camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Year four. Because if, if you come down there Friday, I'm going to get you on the pod with VP and Lou. What was the name of the man you said? Uh, Dre. Bruce and Kendrick. Say it again. Oh, he needed to bring Jet. Oh, bring Jet. You up there, you, you up there having all that money and you still on cricket service? <laughs> Jet. Jet. Yeah, when you say they name, you gotta say it together. D and Jet. That's the, uh, what's that, the Cuban? No, 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 he got a big, <laughs> he ain't fucking around. If I didn't need you smoke cigars, besides these, no. I, I got two of these. I'd have brought the other day. All right. You know, uh, I'm there. Just keep taking, yeah, yeah, kicking it, kicking it. That's and really, then once yeah. I get all, all the content, yeah, <laughs> we outside. Look, I did that with uh, cream tonight. I got some more. Let's go over there. 
you a beast being able to add this new man to the mix up, yeah. man. <laughs> but we just got somebody, man. Animals. We just got somebody. What you got some animals? Yeah. I think so. Huh? <laughs> hey, we just got somebody in my shop though who know how to do editing too. So I think we're gonna we're gonna start this. Not like I want to travel the road and do it. So, how old is AJ? Yeah, how old is he? We need to teach him resale. It's so cold because this was not an option when we was younger, bro. At all. This resale, bro, these little niggas so rich. Bro, this little nigga is 16, bro. I pull him up, bro. I see you make 100 grand. And them niggas ain't even got no LLCs because they ain't old enough. This <laughs> shit is crazy. They don't gotta pay shit, <laughs> bro. That's where it's a wildfire at because it's like, like if you go in uh, Foot Foot Locker and you spend twenty thousand, you don't gotta show your ID or nothing. But if you go twenty thousand, spend it at the car lot, the jewelry store, anywhere, you gotta show proof in this. You gotta do so much. You gotta do so much. You gotta but you can go in Foot Locker and spend twenty G's and don't gotta show nothing and hit it. Yeah. I bought out. The motherfucker come to my store and they spend 20 G's. They don't got to show nothing. It ain't required. You have, you having too much money to be in cricket, man. <laughs> Where you at, Nishano? You in the reserve? I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> That's what BT just said. He said, nigga, where you at, Nishano? <laughs> Took your ass at the green back. <laughs> oh. No, what I was saying was, uh, it's on a Sunday, so I was trying to figure out if you was coming down Friday or Saturday. It was Friday, but I was gone. But I was just going to come down for the weekend. Oh, damn. Well, if you come... My shit only 12 to 6. No, because I wanted to catch you and, and, and do the pod before the event. I'm going to have to catch you after then. Man, it sound good. Hey, you, you, a, you an old nigga, and you know you ain't missing nothing down here. You be in and out. He come and get that money and hit it right back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because we just wrapped our shit up. It's Sunday. I live, I, I, I live here, bro. From here, I'm not gonna tell you to come on Friday and wait to Sunday. If I told you to come any day, I'm gonna tell you to come. Yeah, I was gonna say come on Saturday, come late Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> Hey man, but I always, always kept. We all, we always had a good time on what though. We always had a good time. <laughs> but that's on some, on some. We had, we had my crib. But, my but I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, bro. On some, on some real shit. We was fuck with, we want to fuck with guns too. But we had to be in clubs to get in. Sure. Anywhere I go in, I'm in. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Anywhere. Yeah. Look, my girl, the police. You know what I mean? Yeah, my girl, the police. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Yeah. I just met her. My girl. He said, man. My wifey. <laughs> Shut better, your ass up, man. My better ass. My better ass. Uh, I'm dead. No, I be everywhere with yeah. it on. My girl, the police. <laughs> I'd be like, I wish you would. This shit will be justified. She gonna put your shit back. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm talking about 
In there. Yeah. In my gut. Well, I'm, I'm talking about in the club. Oh, oh. That's what I'm talking about. That's why he's talking about the nightlife. That's why he keeps saying oh, nightlife. Because yeah. my gutter, I go wherever we go. I'm good. We ain't going to get touched, whoever I'm with. But I only go a few places. Because I got to be like that. Because yeah. I don't trust motherfuckers. I'm you know saying, what I mean? I go to Brian to come home. That's why I said. We would kick it with you if we went with you. Oh, yeah. And you get what I'm there. saying? And we in there. If we went with <laughs> you, yeah. we ain't kick it. But that's why I can't. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. motherfuckers ain't going to treat me that way. That's why I go where motherfuckers going to treat me. So you sure you ain't switched your number? <laughs> I'm trying to think of what the fuck I saved you under there. Cause remember we was talking when Pimp Buddy uh spot got raided, when the shoe store got raided. I don't know his name. That was your man. Who shoe store got raided? Yeah. Oh, that's what it was. Cause I, I'm sure like I could have swore I had your fucking number saved. <laughs> You got an Android? Huh? Yeah. What happened to Reggie? Is his store still open? Reggie, man, we gotta try. It wasn't Reggie though. That nigga, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga, dude was moved to Houston. How did the niggas move to Houston? They got hotter than bitches walking and moved to Houston. <laughs> they got the fuck out of here. I ain't gonna say that. It was a lot of their ass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cause I told, I told her, I heard shit about his stuff. No, Reggie got some uh, electric stuff. He got a car wash in the back now. Yeah, barbershop in there. Huh? He ain't there no more. He ain't still there. He got the shoe store, barbershop, 39, and the car wash. Oh. You know, I think my shit gonna stink. I don't go in the ghetto that often. I was on the ghetto because I had like twelve girls hitting me up. Hey, hold on, hold on, one, two, three. Uh, so, I'm on Agus, I'm on Agus the other day because you know my mama still 30th of Ruby at my grandma's house, right? So I go on Agus, I go on Agus the other day. I'm looking around. I'm like, these bitches is hitting me. I was just telling BT. I said, go to Big Homie. That's the OG. <laughs> but yeah, I was over there the other day. I was looking around. I'm like, these bitches is not the same. Cut on twenty seven, crack on nine. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga, uh, you know, I can, Jamaican I can in, what you You Jamaican in on like, what did you make it in? What's that thirtieth in Glendale? Man, it's Agassiz. But no, it's it's off of Agassiz. It's on the next corner. You know, the corner it's store. On on the corner. Yeah, it's on yeah I'm thinking of the corner no, store. It's on Agassiz. Yeah. Yeah. Where Badu ass at? Nigga, they fell off. Ah, shit. But what day you coming down, Scott? Hey, you, you and Jack got to get on the podcast with me, though, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 They still counting, bro. Oh, yeah, we ain't got. <laughs> what day you coming down? Because it's on Sunday. You said Minnesota. I'm going to SneakerCon with you. Oh, I'm going to SneakerCon with you. We talking about when I make the sneaker market. The whole time, I know that nigga. I'm talking about the red What? When is uh SneakerCon? Next weekend it is? Yeah, next weekend. Y'all got, Damn. Hotels, y'all got hotels and shit already? Yeah, man, I made that shit. How y'all get, get in there? How y'all get in there? How y'all get I don't know. You probably like two hours away, nigga. We five and a half. Damn, you, you that close? <laughs> no, nigga, I'm like 
Oh, we five, then. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, you could have been like two or three. Though. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, nigga, right there. <laughs> Damn. So how is y'all coming, though, bro? You ain't driving with Jet? I'm going to say, yeah. if, I, if I show up with camera equipment, and I'm just a film guy? No, no, they charge you. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Man, hell yeah. <laughs> no, no, I ain't going to lie. Because I, I wasn't going to be walking around. This is not your fucking first time vending. I'm not going to be walking around. I'm y'all. No, it's not, man. You just vended in Chicago. Y'all just vended in Chicago. No, I'm just walking around with the table. Man, you... I ain't asking how many things. Hey, I'm not going to be a camera guy for the whole event. No, they I'm just, your camera no, guy. No, they on you. Y'all. They, they on you for that. They ain't on no camera. Camera guy, they're going to be hawking. But... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm. Nigga, I definitely agree. But what I'm saying is, no, for real though. If it don't cost too much, I'm on my way. No, seventy five. Uh, seventy five ain't no money. They don't charge seventy five. Just put seventy five on that shit. That's to, <laughs> that's that's to get in early and all that. But no, I'm literally so. So if I come, I'm literally when I walk around, I might look at other nigga shit. All my content I ain't gonna is gonna be you and BT. I'm not filming nobody else. I All might, right. I might do a community video lie. and just show the whole. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. If you gonna come your record? I'm gonna pay for you to get in. I'm coming. I'm coming in recording. I'm, I'm paying. It's gonna for be you, you and Sco. If I do like everybody, I'm paying else, for you to get in. So we have to get there at the same time, so all our tables are by each other. You ain't getting there at seven, Scott. Hold on, what is this? It's I ain't seven? gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. You finna motivate me. You, you finna motivate me. We gotta be there at seven. I ain't never been there. Is it a.m. Yeah. or p.m.? Yeah. That's not true. That's not true, Scott. Scott, you can't even set up after eleven. Vendors can't even set up after eleven. Not true. You see Nick first. It was a it was a whole line. You see Nick. Hey, what you say, Scott? When it was ten, then nigga. I ain't gonna lie. I, listen, I'm gonna admit this. I'm gonna admit this, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna admit this to you right now, bro. I can admit my flaws. I ain't never shut up early, bro. I ain't never cook early. It's it's two J's. Two J's spent a million dollars before doors open. I ain't never been set up. That time, so ever. But you finna motivate me, nigga. I'm there at seven. Hold on, but what day is it? August twelfth. Um, no, what day is that? A Saturday. It's a Saturday. When are y'all coming back? Uh, hold on. Before we gotta we stay. Y'all coming back, we gotta stay. We gotta stay there one day. We gotta stay there one day. When you leave? Who? Who you tell? Who you? Who you think you tell us though? Already got something set up. Sounds like already, my sounds like my type of party. Already got something set up, Scott. Yeah, 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 yeah. Scott. Already got something. Set. I'm there. How you get there? You drive? I got to. Ride with me. Yeah, I'm, I'm th- when you leaving? Friday night or Saturday morning? I ain't gonna lie. To be set up at seven a.m. because he just motivated me. I gotta go a day early, but. Can't. I down there gotta leave. <laughs> no. no. Hey, now, hey, 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 now that I'm coming, that nigga gonna be there at six in the morning with a motherfucking no. cup of uh, okay. Starbucks. You know, you do know who Lulu is? Lulu. Who? No, Lulu. You know Toya? Toya Auntie Lulu. 
Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, I got to go to there first. After that, oh. I damn it got to hit it. Oh. Right after the funeral, I got to hit it. Okay. I said, man, I ain't even going to go to it, bro. I said, man, I'm cool. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the type of person. I'm not the type of person. Hey, hey, Fred, are you coming? I'm coming. Fred, me and Fred just locked in. Yeah, we locked in. I'm coming. We I'm coming. I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming with. We locked in. I'm coming with one camera. I just said I'm gonna pay for him to get in. One camera to take pictures. One camera to take video. And then we going out. I'm there. Oh, and, oh, and, and I'm only taking content and videos. I already of got y'all lined up. up. So yeah, yeah up. of y'all to help push y'all shit. They be kicking it with me. You know, Sophie's a lure. Yeah. Tasha. Yeah. <laughs> we keep on the lure. Hey, that, that's where I go. Every, hey, so, I know it's been a while since we've seen each other. The way BT moves is what the way I move. But I ain't gonna lie. If, I go to if the you got place, Fred with him, we can go to another spot. I can introduce her to another person that I can get with. Yep. That I know Fred with. So I can introduce her to another spot if we got Fred with him. Fred can get us to another spot. And then we just get it going. Fuck, yeah. Phil, fuck Phil sake. You're going to be Fred. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> but we got to have Fred with him. <laughs> I ain't going to jump. Yeah. Oh, I ain't going to lie. Come up with the same ones? <laughs> yeah. Fred in the gas station. I was like, man, Fred would look looked at me like, hold on, man. I was like, bro, I know who you is, nigga. I respect hey, you, nigga. You from the hood. Hey, if, if, if nigga, he that was the, my first introduction. Hey, if, hey, if he the jail, prison moment, if he the prison stitch, then somebody say your name, you be like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for a lot. Six different center, nigga. I swear yeah. to God, I ain't gonna forget that. Yeah, I'm like, I was I, gone for a while. You gotta remind me who you is. That nigga look like what? Yeah. I'm like, bro, you gotta I, 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 I broke left. it down ASAP to it. When I left in 02, how old was you? Yeah. I was 21. Yeah, <laughs> I, was, I was 12. That's a young I book. remember you, but I was like, oh, shit, somebody That's say your Hey, Scope, Scope, tell him after all those years, somebody <laughs> say your name, you get nervous. Like, whoa. <laughs> I see the look in your face. I'm like, bro, man. I already know, man. I respect you, nigga. You, the first. Yeah. Hey, man. But no, next next Saturday is the Chu concert. When you leaving? Yeah. You getting there Friday, ain't you? Yeah. I'll be there Friday. I'm gonna go to a funeral. Going to a funeral, and then after that, we going to the uh, to the car. We'll be there. See, this is what I'm gonna I, do. I, I, I'm I gonna see the hotel on. you see. This is damn near what I'm gonna do because I'm uh-huh. gonna be on the road and stuff. But when we do the the funeral and all that, yeah. As soon as I be back home, by the time it's over, because uh, my bags will be packed. But my bags might be packed on Wednesday. Man. <laughs> but no, Friday, probably like. 12, 1 p.m. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say 1 p.m. I can get there about 6 or 7. We'll be there, Scott. So who all coming? How many passes you need, Scott? Is you, 
How many passes you need? You? How many passes you need? Really, sneak cars got to start competing, so they got to get somebody in the door. Yeah, they got to put somebody. Other niggas like Dasso, like other sneakers in the market, they getting motherfuckers in the door. Like, dang, dang. a person, a oh. brand, a oh, okay. brand in the Midwest. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? A brand what? Oh, no, not brand wise. It could be you, but it could be you. That shit could be you, though. I mean, you would make everybody, even though you from Milwaukee, the way you get them is with that brand. The way you get them is with that person. Yeah. 
just be constantly. I never. Into that shit. You in the Midwest? You can't take shit light and for granted. Chicago is like that. It's crazy. Like Chicago, they they competing for one of the biggest cities in the whole United States, and I ain't. Chicago's a, a hub. Chicago is the hub. Because <laughs> it's in the middle of America. They send shit everywhere, no matter what it is. Clothes, shoes, alcohol, pussy, whatever. It all comes from Chicago because it's in the middle. <laughs> That's true. You know what Minnesota? I feel like, I feel like, I feel like, I, feel like, I don't know. I feel like it's, it's just the reputation for the black folk. Yeah. I look at it, Chicago. And but then I just went to Chicago for Chicago Sneaker Con. And I went down there early on my birthday. You know what I mean? My first time ever opening up for y'all was in Chicago. And that was on my birthday. When I finally brought the brand out. I didn't know that day like yesterday. It was on my birthday. I went to Chicago the next day. That same night on my birthday. You know who I said? You know who got raided? Big. Big D or Lil Dicky? Both. <laughs> you both got raided. He got raided on my birthday. Dang. <laughs> but you know, right, Lil right. Jigs was my guy. Lil yeah. Jigs was. Yeah, that was our cousin. Yeah. Yeah, that was our cousin. <laughs> Lil Jigs was. That was. Man. But no, that's a bunch of little jigs out here now. But ain't no real ones. They wouldn't be my big homie. Yeah, they wouldn't be. They talking about every time you want to so go somewhere, I'm here. The people, the, the people who gave me the shoe mug was talking about some. If it's so good, I can get over two months. The whole video. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm gonna see what it do. All you gotta do is push it right. Oh, they rock something, something. I was locked up up there. I was yeah. Damn, like I said. Fuck that line. Damn, so you actually seen it up there. I seen the arrow cast. The metal foundry. I seen that shit. That's, That's why I was coming. Like, I'm going to show you. <laughs> he hit up Clark. Catch it. Yeah, he hit up Catch it. So, Jay. Cheese when we turn the video on. It was like even, a hundred even, G's. <laughs> even when you was going through the shit with his wife, you said four times you said the same thing. Four times you said the same thing. Like, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. So I was like, man, for real, like I'm telling you, man, this shit is getting kind of legit. Like, I'm like, man, I was just like, man, this shit is like, like I'm like, man, this shit is even more official. This shit go back. Like, I'm 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 like
find it in our redemption. Because you know it. I just did some shit fucking with some people. Then it is ten fifty dollars. I was like, oh no, this nigga ain't gonna pay me. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. This shit ain't gonna pay me. I don't know. <laughs> they got to ask me questions. I got to fuck it up. I was like, man, and they probably thought they really had some hard questions. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, man, no, I'm really a bunch of hours in this shit. Like I said, <laughs> I was like, man, this nigga ain't gonna never get another chance. This is a year ahead. He has to keep telling you now to put this away every month and you've been cursed for all of this. Yeah. Listen to me. If you put this away, you put $35 away for every month. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Damn. You can go to Jamaica next year. He killed it. That's <laughs> killed it. Ain't no way you telling me you can't afford it. And it ain't a lot you of bogus. It ain't a lot of niggas that think of it that way. Yeah. They think of when it hit. Oh, man, this shit will cost me. Uh, yeah, but you've been putting away that little thirty, forty dollars since yeah. last year. You'd have been good. I put away ten dollars every month for twenty three calendar months and invest in this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so I put away a hundred dollars every sneaker month. And, like, that's that's real life thinking and promotion, man. That's. I always feel safe though. You always feel safe. Oh, you don't need Jack. I ain't gonna need Jack. I ain't gonna need Jack. You know what? I ain't gonna need Jack. (laughs) Full of money though. They be licks, but it's not that environment, bro. I'm not looking for that. You know, I'm not. No, I'm I'm saying. I, I know. That's yeah. what I'm saying. <laughs> the niggas be like, man, look at the one hundred and three niggas that you put in. Like, oh, yeah, that's my old nigga. 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 Yeah, that's my old